How you doing? Hey. So we have Nika Domi from Mind Your Wealth. And your boy Rich. And obviously we're here to talk about the top 10 picks for November 2018. What do you think? Well, I'm ready for November because October has been a wild ride for all of us. But I know that the sun is coming out in November again after Halloween, after all these tricks that we've been, you know, encountering. November's a fresh start for sure. So how about you, Rich? Tell us about your picks because we want to know what's on your mind. Yeah, so I got some picks that I've been looking at. And, um, yeah, you know, let, let's just get right into the picks because my number 10 pick for November, 2018 is a company that actually makes money. It's, <laughs> it's good that they're making money. That's a plus. That's 1933 plus. industries, otherwise known as TGIF is the symbol. They are the number 10 pick on my list. I think that they are a company that is making money. And right now they're generating 3.3 million a quarter. So from that perspective, I really like that. I like the fact that they're making money and they're still at a really good price. I mean, they're at 32 yeah. cents in America right now. So really, really, really undervalued, still at a very good price. And, and they are listed both on the Canadian, um, you can buy them in the Canadian and American. Side, that, right? That is correct. TGIFF in America, currently at 32 cents. TGIF in Canada, they are number 10 on my list. Number nine is Planet 13. This is I a like company the that is also making money. Another reason why they're on this list, I'm looking for companies that are making money that are, we all are. <laughs> huge, huge upside potential, okay? I'm looking for companies yeah. that have huge upside potential planet 13 is one that people are forgetting they're making 4.4 million a quarter right now wow. and their year over year growth is 203 percent so they are escalating and they've been going up while everyone's been going down lately their stock's been going yeah. up they went up five they, they went up eight percent on friday yeah they yeah. went up eight percent on friday and they've been coming up over the last couple of days, while everyone's been going down, they've been going up. So I've been watching them very carefully. They're yeah, one that watch this too. good. Yeah. They're one that a lot of people don't talk about, but I think they have so much potential. And you know, the other thing I like about this company is their share structure. Only sixty-two million shares issued and out. Wow. wow. Sixty-two so million perfect. shares issued and out. So they have a small share structure. I believe they have so much potential. That's number eight on my number nine on my list. Number eight on my list is XLY Oxley. Oh. I think mm -hmm. this is a company that has so much potential. I think that they are extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed at these prices. And I believe that Oxley should be on everybody's watch list because Oxley is a company that has a piece of all the companies. They're almost like wow. a mutual fund themselves. So yeah, they're big. They're they're a big company for that price. And at ninety nine cents, I just believe that they have so much potential. And these are the times that you want to load up on a company like Oxley, which has the potential to be with those big boys like Aurora Cannabis as far as their growing capacity, their share structure. They have five hundred and eighty one million shares. Out there, I believe that's one of the reasons why the price is undervalued. They have not been generating revenue yet based on their growing. They have a lot of money in the bank. I believe that long term this company is going to explode. Okay, they are number eight on my list. Number seven on my list is a company that a lot of people don't know. The symbol is BVO, Bob Victor X ray. On the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture Exchange, Bevo Agro. But the real reason I really like this company is that they've got a company inside of this company, and they only have 26 million shares out, which is crazy. Wow. But they have a company. That's a new name, right? They came from somewhere else. That's a new name of theirs? They are that working with a company called Zanabis, okay? Right. And Zanabis is a licensed producer which has signed 
an agreement with BVO to work with them. So they're just through going through the process. I believe the Zanabis has a chance to explode. And BVO exploded this week. I believe on Thursday they went up 69%. So put them on your watch list. Put them on your radar. They have huge potential. The next company that I actually purchased myself and is on this list is Alifia Health. Bill, yes. A-L-E-F. Okay. And when you have the police of chief. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. From isn't Toronto. It? The chief of police from Toronto. Yeah. You know, and he's a big part of your company. Alifia Health at $2.18 in Canada right now. I bought it this week. I like their chart. I like the yep. way they've been trending. Their share structure, 145 million shares right now out there. I think they have to be on your radar, have to be in your watches. I bought them this week, and I think they have big blue sky potential. I've been trading Alicia for, for the last month or so, actually. I mentioned in the last video, they do have uh, over 50,000 patients uh, that are subscribed. And so that's a pretty big base to have. And usually the medical patients are quite loyal, right? So that it can only go up from there. That is correct. And I think we've done... TGIF in 10th, Planet 13th in 9th, XLY Oxley in 8th, Zanabis BVO in 7th. In 6th spot, we've got a Leaf, A L E F, Aleafia Health. And in 5th spot, we've got Huge, another one that I bought this week. I think this company has so much potential. 3.8 million square feet of growing capacity. They are yes. putting the application to graduate to the New York Stock, uh, sorry, to the NASDAQ. And they just acquired, or they're in the process of acquiring a NASDAQ company. So right. I, just, yeah. I just think that huge. was an interesting one. That was definitely, it shows a lot of power, right? Because if they, they're capable to do that. FSD Pharma, their news has been enormous. They just been bursting with news, 55 cents still. And if they make the application to the NASDAQ, they're going to have to be trading at at least a few dollars. I think this is a company, they do have 1.3 billion shares out. That's the only issue I have with this company. But I just believe the news is so powerful. And for them to try to acquire a NASDAQ company, that is so big. It is so... And then it's it is, Oxley too, right? They have a... They're, they're living up to their name. They're trying to acquire a... Like... Cannabinoid Therapeutics. It's it's a it's a Nasdaq company. I mean, you're you're a company in Canada and you're trying to acquire a Nasdaq company yeah. and you got 3.8 million square feet of growing capacity. 3.8 yeah. million square yeah. feet of growing capacity and they are partnered with XLY on one of their growing spaces. So I just see so much potential here. Thank you. They also have, they're using hydroponics, no soil for, for growing. So that's a, that's a plus, I think. That's quite unique. Absolutely. I think that they have, and at 55 cents, I think they're a steel FSDDF in America. Currently at like 40 cents there. So, wow, they're number five on my list. Number four is Canopy Rivers. Everybody's sleeping on this. I just picked these yes, guys up on are. Friday. I love this company. They are... Canopy 2.0. So if you missed out on Canopy the first time, this is your opportunity to get into Canopy while it's at four bucks. That's right. Yeah. Four bucks. I bought them this week. I love this company. I want to get more. And I was doing the math. I'm afraid to get them. I've been waiting still. Yeah. I bought a thousand shares. I bought a thousand. I bought 10,000 huge, a thousand rivers. I bought 3,000 yeah. <laughs> ALEF this week. So I've been buying this week when everything's been on the red. I've been buying, doing what I do. And I just think that this company has so much potential as a company that's going to go out there and acquire other businesses and be investing in and other companies. you know they'll be aggressive. Companies. You know they'll be aggressive. They have a lot of power behind them. And I think that energy will just continue on because, you know, if they're connected to Canopy, it's, it's a no-brainer, right? <laughs> Canopy, if you bought 1,000 shares when they were at 4 bucks. Which Don't they were two me. years ago. <laughs> if you bought a thousand shares when there were four bucks, today Canopy is at fifty bucks in Canada yeah. weed. So if you're at fifty dollars and you bought a thousand shares, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, maybe one day this goes to fifty bucks. 
And because they got the blueprint, they've already done it. So let's just say they do it again. And I got myself a thousand shares. I just made myself 50 grand on a $4,000 investment. So, you know, I'm excited about that investment. And they're number four on my list. Number three on my list for November is a company that's been beaten up, AUSA, Astralis okay. Capital. Love this company. I think it has so they much potential. Some news. They were quiet for a little bit, but now they, they did put out some news. I don't remember what it was, but 30, it was some kind they of They just book. got $30 million. I reported it first. They right. just got themselves $30 million. <laughs> so I'm like sitting here going, man, you've gone down a thousand percent and you just got yourself 30 mil. I'm going to buy this stock. So I went and I bought myself a thousand shares. I already owned shares before. So I have a few thousand shares of this company. I'm going to keep buying this because to me, this is Aurora 2.0. Same yeah. deal. This is Aurora's baby and it's Aurora 2.0. Now with them, and I said it before and I'm going to say it again, the U.S. is going to legalize sooner than anybody thinks. I think they're really charging ahead. They're, you know, that's, that's what I'm getting, the vibe. And as soon as that happens, those kind of companies uh, like AUSA, who are acquiring mostly in the U.S. market, right? They're gonna just they're gonna have a lot of an easier time doing so. So as soon as that comes through, all of that is gonna just shoot right up. Right here, I'm looking at AUSA share structure. Only 113 million shares issued outstanding. Uh huh. So it's <laughs> really really tight. So they've got a tight share structure. I think this company has so much potential. The next company yeah. is Seneva, okay? S-N-N, Seneva, a company that I don't own it yet. I have bought it before and sold it for profit. I love this company. I think it is grossly Very undervalued. Too. Yeah, I've been I watching them a little bit. Yeah. Currently at $4.82 in Canada. I believe this is a company that has so much potential. I think that this is a company, they, they call it the Canopy of California. Only wow. <laughs> 36 million shares issued and out. And at $4.82, they are number two on my list. They are a secret weapon. They are well, a secret California weapon. California has such a huge market. It's any, you know, that's a great one. For sure. I'm buying this one next week. Mark my words. I didn't even know they only had 36 million shares issued and out still. That is wow. ridiculous. Okay, so their shares so are the tight. The less shares, the better. Let's yes. clear that up. Yeah. yeah, the less shares, the better. <laughs> That's why Tilray has exploded. So these oh. guys could be following yeah. in Tilray's footsteps with only 36 million shares issued outstanding. The Canopy of California at only $4.82 in Canada. I just believe it has so much potential. Not sorry, so much sure. potential. Yeah. And let's see, where is it priced in America? Currently priced at... Wow, three dollars and seventy cents in America, with only thirty-six million shares issued now. It's a no-brainer. This is number two on my list, and number one on my list. Number one. Okay, here, let's hear it. <laughs> and I bought this this week, so the people in my in my that are close to me, they know what this is. The Green Organic Dutchman. Okay. Wow. I green like them. I always have a good vibe about them. I love. I love the whole idea of even organic. As I said before, I love the fact that they have organic. People like me will be looking for organic, and and there's not much of it out there. It's not $2. very easy to do, right? Two dollars and eighty six cents in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm mind boggled by this. It's back to its original price when it was an IPO. <laughs> I'm mind boggled. Well, a chance to finally jump in, right? And well, then, yeah, uh, I bought it. I bought it on Friday. I bought it IPO day, made money on the way up. I bought it again on Friday, and I'm excited about it. And I got myself a thousand shares, and it's at three dollars and seventy-three cents. It's back to it where it was IPO day. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I mean, crazy. just look at the chart. It's unbelievable. It's been as high as ten dollars. Yeah, so to get in at $3.73, a company that has $355 million in the bank. And they're expanding internationally too. So there are um, really a lot of pluses to them. Um, how I found out about them was when they did, because I'm from Poland, and born and raised, and I always love it when I hear news about Poland, especially any kind of progress happening in the cannabis business, right? So they were actually 
one of the first ones, if not the first ones, to go into the Polish market, and they acquired a Polish company that apparently was already very um, well connected in Europe, and they already had supplies going out into the European market, and Green Organic Dutch Spent has bought fully 100% that company in Poland. I think it was Hem, Hem Poland. That's the um, name of the company there. So I was pretty uh, impressed with that news then when it came out a few months ago. Green Organic Dutchman so. is a beast. <laughs> it is at the bottom. Mark my words. You heard it here first. It is at the bottom. You're not going to see it go much lower than this. This is why I'm telling you they're my number one pick for November 2018 and beyond. They only have 228 million 228 million shares issued outstanding. So that's less than most of the big players out there. 355 million in the bank. They are they licensed. The <laughs> they are licensed. Yeah. They are going to explode. Mark my words. Numero uno. Yeah. Number one, TGOD. Number two, Seneva. SNNVF in America. SNN in Canada. Astralis Capital, number three. Number four is Canopy Rivers. Number five is huge. Number six is Alifia Health, A-L-E-F. Number seven is BVO, Zanabis. Number eight is Oxley, X-L-Y. Number nine is Planet 13. And number 10, TGIF. That's it. We're done. Wow. That's a We're good done. list. I think I that, that list is going to bring returns. That. I think that list is going to bring returns. What do you think? I'm pretty secure with those. Um, I, most of them I have on my list, and a few of them, like TJF, like Huge, um, Alifia, I already have purchased. I have. I'm trading them, so um, I feel really good about them. And definitely, I think everything's clearing up for November, December. Uh, I come from, you know, the, the business perspective of things, and I know that Christmas season is busy for anybody, and everybody capitalizes on that that time so i see things as very positive and your list is awesome so love it <laughs> hope you guys love the list remember rich tv live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes do your due diligence do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about yep. here on rich tv live i love you guys hit the like button subscribe follow nika everywhere subscribe to her <laughs> channel i love you guys have a great weekend i'm out enjoy see the winners ya. if you're not winning you're not watching it's your boy Rich with Nika Domi. We're out. Peace. Bye. <laughs>